E, how's it going out there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're at out here on this fine day. It is Monday, November 11th, 2024, 1046 a.m. Big happy birthday to one of our moderators out here on the channel, Timothy. Happy birthday to you. I don't have the voice yet to sing happy birthday. I would if I did, but uh, we're going to pass on that for now. But uh, definitely wanted to send a big happy birthday out there to Timothy as he's uh, one day in the future there. Uh, his birthday on the 12th. All right. Earthquake activity here in the last 24 hours, a 2.1 Alaska area. Looking at the last 24 hours here, uh, renewed activity here across the Taiwan area southward into uh, the Indonesia Islands area. Quite a bit of clustering going on there today uh, in this general area. Let me bring in the zoomed in view here. As you can see, quite a few fives stirring up out here uh, in the last 24 hours with a handful of smaller, deeper quakes in the region as well. Also some shallow adjustment here across the Mariana Trench. That's going to be this area up here upstream around the Mog Islands region. Uh, this earthquake coming in 2 o'clock this morning. I don't see anything else stirring up in there for now in terms of newer activity, uh, but uh, we'll continue to watch that. It's been a region of uh, hot spot activity here recently. Uh, New Zealand area, Tonga Trench, all seeing some older deep act or older activity here from yesterday, I should say, uh, with some threes and older movement up north uh, for the California region. Let's go ahead and check this out here real quick. See what we have. For Northern California, fairly quiet. Uh, one more earthquake, it looks like, last night. There are 3.1. Aside from that, nothing really new to report here across Northern California. Same for the Pacific Northwest. Uh, down here across the rest of California area. Uh, there's that three-pointer from yesterday in the desert center, the 3.6 to be exact. Uh, aside from that, if you look here on the 2.5 map and above, well, things uh, get a little quiet. Uh, aside from some microquake activity here around Long Valley Super Volcano and uh, a couple smaller quakes here off of the uh, Garlock Fault Shear Zone in Los Angeles. Pretty quiet for now. Not a whole lot of uh, newer activity out here to report for the West Coast. Uh, Texas area oil fields still getting hit. That includes uh, regions uh, out there around the Snyder, Texas area. For the new Madrid Seismic Zone, got a 1.8 outside of the main area. Uh, if we look here at the U.S. hazard map and we bring back the last 30 days, uh, that shows us there that uh, it's seen somewhat, uh, somewhat decent amount of earthquake activity here in the last 30 days, including a 3.7. Uh, it's quite rare to see, um, you know, multiple three-pointers out there in a 30-day period, but this 3.7 here being the largest of all the magnitudes here in the last 30 days. Uh, last 24 hours, as you can see here, pretty quiet, not a whole lot going on. Um, and it's just these little quakes out here uh, give us a friendly reminder that there's some uh, a bigger quake potential out here around the New Madrid Seismic Zone in the future. How soon? No one knows. All I know is here that uh, uh, it's potentially gearing up for some big-time earthquake activity um, as we see these little earthquakes here from time to time. You know, it's just a question of when, when we're going to see it. Who knows? But uh, it's still very much alive, that is. That false system, very capable of producing some upper sevens uh, across the new um, Puerto Rico area. Mainly twos, threes, four-pointer out there from yesterday around Cuba. Aside from that, general, generally small microquake activity out there uh, today. South America area as well. As you can see there, quite a few twos and threes from yesterday in the red color rings indicating older movement uh so you know as far as anything major going on here in the last 24 hours let's see what we got here for the largest magnitude looks like it's just going to be this 5.6 here after midnight about two o'clock this morning uh, across the northern edge here of the mariana islands so i guess we'll see how uh, today goes here Again, not a not a whole lot of significant activity taking place. A lot of older activity from yesterday into the um, the Greece area. Quite a few threes out there. Iceland area looks like a 3.1 across the northern rift zone. Uh, let's go check out space weather. See what we have going on here on this Monday. It rained out here a little bit this morning in Northern California. Picked up uh, just barely. 
I think barely a tenth of an inch of rain, but hey, we'll take anything we can get at this point in time. Uh, not a whole lot for the Auroras right now. Elevated flare threat still at 30% chance for an X flare. Uh, we do have a sunspot area back here, 3889. Uh, that's uh, capable of producing some stronger flaring. Although today, man, these sunspots here have just been dissipating soon as they get into the Earth directed view. Uh, this whole regional sunspot back here looks uh, quite uh, disorganized here today. Uh, I still think we have a little chance here, maybe seeing some M-flare activity within this region. Uh, I don't think we're going to see any X-flare activity because of the uh, the dwindling complexity here overnight. Looks like that's taken a hit uh, in terms of the magnetic uh, intermixing there from last night to today here. A lot less deeper colors and uh, getting some separation of the magnetic cores. So things are probably going to settle down here as we see. Uh, in the last few hours, we've dipped back down into the low sea flare category with only periodic um, small sea flares going on. So unless something changes here, um, we may not see any elevated um, space weather activity from any of these sunspots unless they uh, get with the game again. But who knows? A little bit of uh, prominence eruption out here on the northeastern quadrant of the sun uh, pointing away from Earth. Uh, aside from that, uh, goodness, what do we got going on around the far side of the sun? Let's take a look. Earth-facing side right here. Here's the eastern limb. Sunspots rotating this general pattern. They'll be peaking around the eastern limb here in the coming days. Uh, 3870. That uh, looks like a newer sunspot. Really not all that impressed with that region unless it starts to grow. Uh, I guess we got a uh, little ways to go before we see that uh, old sunspot group right here. Um, venture back over here across the eastern limb. Right now, it's on the far side of the sun, probably about center disk. Um, so we got a little, a few days to go before we see that come back around here into the Earth-directed view. So probably going to be entering into a little quiet period. Not a whole lot here for the auroras, unfortunately. Storm Prediction Center, as you can see, not a whole lot of severe weather out there. Maybe a chance of thunderstorms out here around my neck of the woods. There's really not a whole lot of um, potential storminess. We just got a cold front coming in with a, a little bit of rain out here across my neck of the woods, but no thunderstorms. Um, just some heavier rain outside of Chico, Yuba City area, stretching down into the Bay Area there of Northern California. That's going to scoot on out. And if we look here at the numerical model, uh, we'll get another system behind that, bringing some some more moisture here across Northern California and the Pacific Northwest. Uh, that looks to be the pattern there for a little bit. Maybe another one behind that. But these cold systems here that come out of the Northwest are normally not huge rainmakers out here. They are uh, limited moisture. But that's typical during a La Nina pattern out here for us. As uh, far as severe weather goes across the rest of the country, still watching around the Tuesday, November 19th time period here. This is probably going to be Monday night into Tuesday of uh, next week, not this week here, but next week. We've got a severe weather threat across Oklahoma, Kansas. This whole area that just got through with some tornado activity recently is going to deal with uh, some more severe weather. Massive low pressure center here across the Midwest. Uh, depending on how much moisture it pulls up here from this hurricane, um, it would be interesting to watch. Now, this is a ways out on the 21st. Um, does show a little clipper here of a hurricane hitting the southern tip of Florida. We'll have to watch that and see uh, what develops. All right, folks, I'm out of here. Uh, we'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on this evening. Enjoy your Monday. I got quite a bit of schoolwork to do and uh, not a whole lot of lectures, fortunately. But uh, yeah, a little bit of earthquake activity there on Mount St. Helens, Parkfield area of Southern California. Uh, but aside from that, uh, not a whole lot going on here across the earthquake world right now. We'll uh, definitely keep an eye on it and uh, see if anything changes out here. Have yourself a good Monday, and we'll catch you guys back out here soon.